Friends, have you all ever wondered how easy it could be to make glue? Yes, you can have homemade glue. Welcome to another episode of How. What is the benefit of homemade glue? The first foremost benefit is it's child safe. As in you wouldn't have to wonder if you're using some toxic glue and in case by mistake your child happens to put their finger in the mouth and you know you get worried oh my god what will happen like do we need to you know do something like on an emergency no you do not need to be worried about this because it's completely safe it's edible i won't say it's edible glue but yes it it is made from edible substances so you know you do not really need to worry about this so stay with me and let's just get the glue done i know this seems like a cooking show but it isn't here i have taken 3 tablespoons of flour and about a tablespoon of sugar then water just the normal room temperature and as you see here this is a little salt little more than the quarter i could say of a spoon or something okay then i'll just take a little bit of water about nearing the half not exactly i'll put in the sugar the full amount and salt yeah and why i'm doing this first is to avoid uh, mixing it at last because the granules can still remain and not be combined when you add the sugar and salt at a later stage so keep stirring keep stirring and you'll see that the water is turning a bit cloudy because of the salt and sugar and now the flour that i have i'll keep adding a tablespoon time to time once i keep stirring and have the first part dissolved completely in water in the mixture i will uh, keep adding a little more now there i'm done with this now again another little part and then this will continue till i am done so i'll keep the stuff going so that you can see when i'm actually adding all the flour and how the consistency looks part by part because if i'm going to skip this you'll not be able to understand the consistency there it's very good idea to have this homemade glue especially when children really love art and craft work you know making use of toxic glue could be really something you would be bothered about and nowadays with the kind of home education that we are having home schooling it's uh, better to make use of substances that uh, you can get in your house without adding toxic stuff to it and knowing that it's child safe you wouldn't want to uh mess around using toxic and you would rather use something which is natural which you know wouldn't harm your child okay and there is a little more i'm trying to clear off the lumps if you can see so that you know it does not get okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a bowl and fill a uh, hot water and keep this glass that i'm mixing in that hot water bowl and let me add the balance remaining flour to it as you can see and i'll stir it now and there see can you see the batter is turned thick now when i added the last bit remember friends now uh, as you mix the batter in case if you find it thin 
try adding a little more of flour you do not need a very thin batter because in that case it is really not going to be working it's just going to be like you're going to put water on a paper and you know try to paste the other paper on it so just ensures as you can see how uh, the batter is going it's almost a creamy paste kind of consistency as you can see so uh, try adding a little bit of flour if the uh, mixture has turned out too runny too watery like this is also runny but it's a paste consistency as you see see i'll just show you on the finger see how it looks there and i cannot feel any sugar or salt because i combined it in the earlier start of this video so there let me just clear off this place and i have a book here as you can see and there so here this book has just come out from the main page that you see what i will do is i'll just run the gum with my finger on the place where i need to stick this to one second there just apply it it will feel wet of course because of the water consistency and there and just see that you press it to the bottom um, so that it is not going to be left out and then we will just let it dry a bit and here uh, I've got this dried for some time and now can you see it stuck very nicely I myself am trying this for the first time and uh, really it's really turned out very well see even on the back side of the book see I'm trying to shake it so that you know it's actually stuck and it's not coming out there see stuck very well without friends i hope this homemade glue is going to be really useful to you just um, another advice uh, before we come to the end is uh, this glue needs to be preserved since it's made of edible ingredients and it could get spoiled with normal room temperature what you'll have to do is you'll have to keep this in a container and uh, let it be in the cool in the fridge so whenever you have to use it you know you'll have to just um, get it out from the fridge you remove how much quantity you want and basically if you find the consistency has become thick because of it being cooled in the fridge you can add a few drops of warm water to just make the consistency little uh, liquidish uh, otherwise it's a very good uh, thing uh, you you can preserve it in the fridge and uh, i would recommend to have this uh, kept only for a month most of them say you can use it up to two months if you uh, keep it under proper conditions but uh, when it's concerned with kids unless you all are going to remove a bit and keep the remaining back in the fridge then you can save it up to two months in the fridge otherwise if you all keep on removing using it and after long time keeping it back in the fridge then please uh, avoid uh, keeping it for a longer time longer than a month that's all friends hope to see you on another episode of how till then for those of you all who have not yet subscribed to my channel please do not forget and click on the subscribe button along with that click on the bell icon to get updates on all my upcoming videos and in the comment section do let me know if there is any hack that i could work on to make life a little bit more easier for you i'll see you next time bye